Supporters of school choice point to the example of the U.S. Postal Service and how that institution has been revitalized by the stimulus of free market practices. Former Congressman Joseph Diaguardi, the only CPA ever elected to the U.S. House of Representatives and an ardent supporter of choice in education, describes this idea. Well, the problem with the uh, school system is that we've got a monopoly. In fact, we had the same situation with the uh, U.S. Postal Service. Uh, but the U.S. Postal Service got a challenge. They got a challenge from UPS and Federal Express. And it's a challenge they met. They got better. But we've got to bring these same kinds of market forces to bear uh, with our schools. And I think the issue of choice, choice by the parents, is going to send a very strong signal to the bureaucracy that controls the public school systems today uh, that it's time to compete. It's time to get better. U.S. parents having the real say. A scholastic voucher system is widely feared by the entrenched bureaucracies. You should be aware of this. They raise the issue of separation of church and state, claiming that a voucher system would be the same as the government funding religious schools. But this is not the truth. Listen to Joe Diaguardi. That's a misconception. The use of scholarship vouchers to send children to religious schools is not a violation of church and state. Uh, as a CPA, I can tell you that this is not money going to religious institutions. This is money going to individuals. As a matter of fact, this is tax dollars that these citizens are able to spend themselves. This is no different than getting Social Security money. Um, under the old GI Bill, it's no different than the GIs getting the money and deciding what schools they wanted to go to. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, would the government tell you how to spend your tax refund? No. That's your money. The same here. It's as simple as that. 